Hey, it is a beautiful day on August 26, 2001. Actually, it's 2021, my bad. And we are all ready. We're headed to the airport. We're actually running super late. Uh, I'm just really bad on time and we just could not get it together this morning. But as you can see by this video, we have a whole bunch of luggage in the back of my mom's car and we are headed to the airport. Bend is ready to go. You ready to go, baby? Oh, yeah. And Mackenzie's ready to go. Got my, my fourteen dollar sandals machine. Yeah, airport ready. Yep. So we just got to Charlotte International Airport, and you have to pay six freaking dollars to get a trolley to get your stuff. <laughs> That's crazy. So now I have to walk all the way back down here just so I can pay the six dollars. Like it's crazy. Okay, so we made it through TSA. It's super stressful. We have like a thousand and one electronics. The lady yelled at us because we didn't take the PlayStation out of the TSA the the luggage or whatever. But now we're going to our gate. We drove a layover back in Jersey, Mackenzie's over there. Uh, but yeah, this is Charlotte Airport, zero stars. I do not recommend this airport. Like, people are so not helpful. They don't wanna do anything. That's why I'm so excited to be leaving, you know, the US sometimes because the hospitality in other countries are always way better than, you know, the United States. Prior to donning an oxygen mask to ensure mask is secured and sealed properly. We will be demonstrating the Okay guys, I am in the bathroom right now and it smells horrendous in here. Oh my God, it stinks so bad. Anyway, so I am in a pet relief area at New York International. Uh-uh, don't eat that, don't eat that. I don't know what that is. International Airport, these people are so unhelpful here. This door was locked. I was asking people, asking people that work here and they were just like, I don't know what you want me to do about it. I said, there's nobody you can freaking text, call, radio. Uh -oh. No, no, no. So anyway, I am just so disappointed in this airport, but we're gonna go back, we just landed. I was gonna go to the USO, but you have to leave TSA to go to the terminal B, and I'm not trying to go through TSA again. It's a hassle and everything. So now we're at our gate, we're just gonna wait the four hours, and then we are gonna be headed on the airplane again to our final destination. 22, L and K. We just made it through customs. We were in line for almost two hours. It's crazy. Now we're getting carts. I'm trying to think. You do have to pay for them? No, you don't have to pay for them. We're trying to get a cart. Huh? Because we need two. So we're trying to get a cart right now, and these are free, but. Oh, okay, Mackenzie got it. A plethora of free cards. Huh? Alright, so we just got our luggages and everything. Now we're inside this room right here. And you have to, if you're bringing pets into Portugal, you have to, um, you know, get them checked out. <laughs> So now we are waiting for the guy to come out. I don't know what he said because he spoke in Portuguese. And I just said, okay. So we're just gonna wait out here and he should be out here soon. 
Okay, so we're finishing up here and I kind of messed up because when I emailed the people, I kind of emailed them late and I'm supposed to do it at least two days prior and I didn't. And when I emailed them, I never got anything back. So when I got here, they were just like, you don't have an appointment. I'm like, I didn't know I had to have an appointment. I just thought you could show up. But he was saying that email them a blank email first and then they're going to email you back with all the information. And make sure your pet's microchip numbers are on the last that visit statement. I did not have it and one of them had it from an old pet visit and the cat did not. So he's letting it slide. So make sure you note that and it's 40 euros per pet. So we had to pay 80 euros to get the animals in here. So we made it to our Airbnb. Actually, it's not an Airbnb. This is actually a lease place that I rented through Flatio for six months. But I know I won't be staying for six months because this place is kind of expensive. It's nice. It's nice. But it's just expensive for the size and what I'm looking for. But for visa purposes, I definitely just booked this place. Um, plus, the landlord is really, really, really nice. So definitely my takeaways of flying into Portugal um one they didn't check our COVID test they didn't check the passenger locator form um make sure when you go to the vet email them first and just say hey i'm flying in this state and then they'll email you back with the information and then you send their document your your documents don't send everything in one email um because that's what i did and i did not get a response and luckily the vet was really nice to let us be seen uh, I will say that he did not even look at our animals. Like, I could have had a ferret in the carrier, and he would have never known. He didn't scan for their microchips or anything. Um, as far as the long lines, we were in customs lines for almost two hours. It was really bad. Apparently, there's still no strike here, so that's why it was really backed up. Um, I already had someone arranged to pick us up, which I'll leave their information in the bottom of this video. He was really nice. Uh, he spoke English and he was telling me, you know, different places to eat at because today's my birthday and I'm trying to eat a dinner to go from somewhere. Um, but we got to our place. We like it so far. We're really tired. I know I'm tired, but we need to get food in this house and snacks. Um, but yes, thank you for following us on this journey on our move to Portugal. I will be doing a video of our Airbnb. Um, and this won't take five months like it did in Mexico. I'm gonna do it, like I want to do this tomorrow. And also I'm going to be making a video on the process of obtaining your visa, obtaining your retirement slash passive income visa. I believe it's passive income, definitely retire part. Uh, your D7 visa for Portugal. And I will check you guys in the next video. Bye.